Well, another year, another trip to state for War Road Girls Hockey. But after back-to-back -back third place finishes the last two seasons, the Warriors are hoping third time's the charm. It's called Hockey Town USA for a reason. The War Road Girls are heading back to state for the ninth time since 2006 after cruising through Section 8A for the third straight year. I think high expectations are a good thing and, and uh, our players have thrived on that. And, and the, the higher the expectation, it seems the harder they've worked. And one of the driving forces behind the Warriors' 22-win season they know how to score goals. We're going to shoot as hard as we can and bring it to the net and we're going to crash the net and we're going to pound away. And it's just fun hockey out there. We want to score, we want to win. Future Minnesota State Maverick Madison Olkers leads the potent attack with 42 goals this season. But it's been sophomore Hannah Corneliuson right behind her with 38. That's taken the offense to another level. I've been using my backhand a lot. I don't have a lot of forehand shots, but yeah, coming out of the corner and backhanded it in. We knew Okers would score because mm -hmm. she has uh, for five years for us, but what we didn't know is Cornelius and would bring that second line and, and, and put it on her back at times. On the other end of the ice during their 10 game winning streak, the Warriors defense has only allowed four goals with six shutouts. We get the puck out quick, we block lots of shots, we're very confident hardworking and we we get down we're tough and now all the focus turns to tomorrow night at the X as they start their run to win their first state title since 2011 I think we're playing our best hockey at the right time of year one game at a time the old boring cliche but just stick with the process and and play for each other and and uh, we'll see what happens it'd mean more than anything I think I my senior year to finish out as a state championship would be awesome 6 p.m. the quarterfinals tomorrow night at the X. They will face off with New Orm. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.